Welcome back. State lawmakers are ironing out details on possibly legalizing recreational marijuana. However, the latest proposal has received significant pushback from law enforcement, NAACP, and some lawmakers, including State Senator Jason Berkman out of Bloomington, who I spoke with today. And I asked him when we last spoke on air, he said he was open to legalizing marijuana. But what was it about this plan that doesn't sit well with him? And just to be clear, I've, I have long said that I'm willing to support legalization for adult use only, provided the appropriate safeguards are, are in place. And the governor's proposal, I think, is a broad overreach. I think he has um, put forward a measure that is incredibly controversial. I think that it has received widespread opposition from Republicans and Democrats alike. He includes some provisions that, again, I think the public will look at and say is uh, very controversial. He puts forward an expungement process that proposes to expunge the records for offenses that remain illegal even after cannabis would become legal. And so what that means is that uh, even if cannabis were legalized under Pritzker's plan, uh, there are offenses such as uh, those who were convicted for uh, for selling uh, drugs, drug dealers, those who are charged with um, uh, selling drugs would have their records expunged even though that crime would remain illegal. And so I, I think, you know, I think that idea that the public's going to have, you know, a widespread distaste to it. Uh, I've, I've sat down with the governor. I've outlined to him a number of my concerns, including the expungement process. I've told him I'm willing to work with him, but it has to be a negotiation. And ultimately, he needs to moderate his position here. He's, I, I think he's overreached with his proposal. I think the public is, uh, would look at his proposal and reject it, uh, even those who are open-minded to legalization. And so the question becomes, uh, as we approach the late May here, is whether or not the governor wishes to moderate his position and come to a bipartisan agreement. I, I think that choice remains with him. I continue to stand uh, forward as someone willing to negotiate that with him, but he's going to have to moderate his position. And when it comes to the expungement issue, I also asked if his problem is the threshold of how much marijuana someone who was convicted of having or selling or the concept that someone who illegally sold drugs should not have the records expunged. Here's what he had to say about that. So I think this is a, it's a good question. Here, it starts with this. Uh, we're contemplating creating a marketplace that is taxed and regulated, and that's a concept that I continue to support. The fact that historically people who are bad actors have committed crimes that are classified as felonies because they sold or manufactured or trafficked drugs, I think the fact that those were illegal then and will continue to be illegal under the new law suggests that the public is going to push back significantly just as I have on the notion that those offenses prior previously committed should now somehow be expunged because we're moving towards a taxed and regulated environment. Uh, again, I think the public's going to resist this significantly. I think even those, again, who support legalization think that it's ludicrous that the, that the legislature, that the state would consider uh, making those previous criminal offenses now become expunged when the same activity today would result in the same uh, crime being committed today. Well, switching gears to the Capitol bill, lastly asked him that lawmakers still need to get a deal done on the state's infrastructure. So does he think momentum is slowing down on reaching an agreement? I, I think there's a whole host of things that are kind of out there in the public that uh, remain unresolved as we approach the end of the month. Uh, Capital is one of them. I've been supportive of the fact that, you know, I think our state needs an infrastructure plan. I recognize how that's paid for is the most controversial aspect, and it doesn't appear in the immediate sense that, the, that there's a, a, an agreement coming about how that could be financed. And so, in the, you know, in the absence of money, uh, that tough decision remains out there. I don't know what's going to happen over the next two weeks. I think as I travel around the state, I see the need for an infrastructure bill. Uh, but I also recognize Illinoisans feel overtaxed. And the notion that there's going to be this, you know, massive increase in the, the motor fuel tax or other 
you know, fees and charges that are increased to pay for this. Uh, what I hear from residents is, you know, and from my constituents is, uh, they want us to find ways to spend the money that we've got better, and they don't want to put more money in the pockets of, um, of the government. We'll have more from that conversation with Senator Berkman on our website, CRProud.com. And of course, we'll have other lawmakers coming up in upcoming days and weeks. We'll be right back.